Before I start this, I want to say this, that if you are suffering from mental health issues and are having suicidal thoughts, then please talk to someone. You are not alone. And if you think that you are alone, then there is professional help available. Your life is important and precious. Do not throw it away. How you feel now, you may not feel like that in six months or 12 months or even two years later. You can have another shot at life. You can live a long, prosperous, joyous life. So if you're suffering from mental health issues, then call this number if you're in Australia or if you're in the UK. Now let's get to today's video. Islamist propagandists waste no opportunity to further their agenda. Whatever suits them in the moment, they will use it. On Sunday, the 25th of February, a 25-year-old U.S. Navy active service duty member, Aaron Bushnell, set himself on fire in front of the Israeli embassy in Washington. His last words were free Palestine. Obviously, he was disturbed by what's been happening in Gaza, but that's not all of it. No fully mentally sound person would do what he did to himself. He needed help. He needed support and good counseling. The last thing we should do is applaud self-harm. But that's expecting too much from Islamist propagandists who are constantly on the prowl for whatever they can use to further their agenda. How could they waste this glorious opportunity to stick it to Israel? How could they waste this perfect opportunity to tell the world that their propaganda is actually just? Now, I'm not criticizing Aaron Bushnell. I think he was suffering from mental health issues and we should be careful when we discuss this tragedy. My thoughts and well wishes go out to his family. But obviously I would not spare these Islamist propagandists who are using this tragedy, who are applauding self-harm just so they can deny Jews of their homeland. At the base of it, that's the only motivation. And I'll prove to you how. So all those people who are disturbed by what's happening in Gaza, I want you to think about this rationally. At any given moment, people are suffering in the world. We don't know about this and we go on and live our daily lives. Right now, Ukrainian civilians are dying, blown up to bits. Nearly 300,000 Russian and Ukrainian soldiers have died. Tanks run over, blown to bits. Drones dropping bombs on them. I don't think I saw anyone setting himself on fire in front of the Russian embassy, and nor they should. Nobody should do that, because that's not how we deal with tragedies or worldly affairs. Nearly half a million Syrians and Yemenis were killed by other Muslims and Russians. Nobody harmed themselves, and again, nor they should. So why is this one different? Why did Aaron Bushnell do what he did? Because obviously he was consuming too much of this Islamist propaganda, which is now turning out to be very dangerous, not just for people of Palestine who they constantly egg on to keep sacrificing the kids, but also for every gentle soul out there. Seems like the Ukrainian propaganda is obviously not as emotionally unhinged as the Islamist propaganda against Israel. They're not falsely calling what's happening to them a genocide. As I said, in that conflict alone, nearly 350,000 people have died. Mostly soldiers, I get it. But what's happening in Ukraine is a catastrophe. That tells you that this Islamist propaganda that we see on social media is far more sinister. They are emotionally unhinged themselves. Statements like, we love death, you love life. We believe that life begins at death. We don't care about death. We love death. Using that as a slur against ordinary, normal, life-loving people should be banned. And people who propagate these ideas should be jailed. Or there should be some action taken against these people. And as always, the mantra is death for thee, but not for me. These people are constantly applauding and eulogizing this behavior that should not be applauded. Self-harm should never be applauded. People who are thinking about harming themselves should be helped and counseled. They should not be turned into heroes or made infamous. But Islam is a death cult. By their own admission, they keep saying, we love death, you love life. And of course, these naive, gentle, emotionally vulnerable people of the 21st century living in the West, they fall for this propaganda. The video that made me cry today about what's happening in Gaza and Palestine. I'm actually surprised why it hasn't happened more often. Because when I see young people who are so emotionally distraught by this propaganda, I wonder why more of this is not happening. But if you are one of those young people, please do not throw away your lives. They see you as nothing but pawns. All the glamorization that they're doing of Aaron Bushnell, they would only do it as long as it serves their political agenda. Do you know how sinister Islam is? 
you know the smart muslims are not even saying rest in peace to aaron bushnell but the idiot ones are saying it and you know why they can't even say rest in peace to aaron bushnell because this is what quran chapter 9 verse 113 says it's not for the prophet and those who have believed to ask forgiveness for the polytheists even if they were relatives after it has become clear to them that they are companions of hellfire muslims believe that aaron bushnell is probably going to be burning in hellfire this is why they are not allowed to say rest in peace but the idiot and the ignorant ones are saying rest in peace they are obviously doing that out of ignorance and they obviously don't know their own scripture but what about the clever ones the clever ones who are not saying rest in peace but they're still applauding an act of self-harm an act of suicide which is clearly haram in islam what about them this is what the prophet muhammad said about those who commit suicide the prophet said he who commits suicide by throttling shall keep on throttling himself in the hellfire and he who commits suicide by stabbing himself shall keep on stabbing himself in the hellfire so muslims actually believe the educated ones the ones who actually know the scripture they believe that aaron bushnell is going to be burning in hellfire this is how they see you should you really waste your life over this propaganda over this ideology over these people i'm not saying palestinian people you setting yourself on fire is not helping Palestinian people. If there is one thing that has taught Muslims, that is mental gymnastics. When it suits them, interest or usury becomes halal. And when it doesn't suit them, they say interest is haram. When it suits them, saying rest in peace to an infidel becomes halal. And of course, when it suits them, suicide becomes halal as well. This is the reason why, for almost two decades, they glamorized and applauded suicide bombers. And when they realized that they could not even get an inch of soil from either India or Israel or United States after conducting so many terrorist attacks all around the world, when they failed, they started telling us that, oh, suicide is haram in our religion. Now spare a moment for all those hundreds of thousands of innocent brainwashed Muslim children who wore suicide vests around their waist and blew themselves up for these people for their political agendas they just threw them under the bus and they are only praising Aaron Bushnell right now because they think it suits them it furthers their agenda and their political cause behind your back they would be cussing him out they would be saying that he's burning in hellfire because he committed suicide they cannot override what Prophet Muhammad said, unless, of course, it serves your agenda in the moment. Mental gymnastics. On 7th of October, these very Muslim propagandists that you see online, they applauded Hamas's actions of killing civilians. But when you ask them in peacetime, they say, oh no, our Prophet told us don't even harm a tree. It's mental gymnastics. They throw the Quran, Allah and Muhammad and the Islamic teachings under the bus as long as it suits them in the moment. So if you are that gentle soul, who is feeling bad for Gaza. It means your humanity is in check, but please do not let these Islamist propagandists to exploit you. Your lives are precious. Please value them. If you'd like to support my work, you can become my patron by going to patreon.com forward slash or you can simply buy me a coffee.